just play the damn thing. So last week in a viewer comments video, uh, I read a comment from somebody who had a it was asking me if I would do a gain stacking video, and initially I was kind of skeptical about it, uh, you know. But I, I promised you guys I would at least give it some thought, and it turns out the number of uh, uh, others of you also chimed in and want to see a gain stacking video. So you win. We're gonna do one. Now, before we go any further, if you would please be so kind as to hit the subscribe button on this channel, uh, as well as the alert icon. Uh, if you're new here, I'm working really, really hard to grow the channel this year, and uh, your subscription and your support would go a really, really long way towards doing that. You can also find links to uh, other ways that you can support the channel, merch shops and uh, you know donations, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's even the thank you button down there right below this video that you should be able to access. All of those are excellent ways to support the channel and what I do here, which allows me to keep bringing you guys uh, regular content. And most importantly, like I said, to grow the channel. Now, let's get back to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to set these these pedals up traditionally. And, and, and by traditionally, I mean I'm going to follow the traditional, uh, the traditional pedal, you know, uh, pedal chain signal path rules, if you will. Uh, so in other words, you know, the traditional order that you would normally run your pedals in. And in this case, the traditional way to run, uh, run the signal path is in ascending order of gain. So overdrive into distortion into fuzz, uh, which are the three different gain stages that I'm going to be using for this video. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> so we're going to set them up traditionally at least to start out. You know, so for all three of these, I wanted to stick to pretty basic stuff and, you know, pedals that are, that are pretty readily available in one form or fashion or another to just about everybody out there. Uh, so for overdrive, I, I, you know, naturally I would have wanted to go with a, with a TS-9. However, with all the pedals in my possession, you know, in my collection, I actually don't own an Ibanez TS-9. Uh, but I do happen to have this here Ibanez TS-9DX. Uh, the lowest gain mode on this pedal is actually a TS-9 mode, uh, so you know that's actually how I'm going to run the, run this pedal in this particular experiment. And uh, you know it's not a TS-9, but it should sound pretty close. Next, we are going to go with a good old-fashioned uh, Boss DS-2 turbo distortion. Why didn't? Why am I not using a DS-1? You might be asking. Well, the truth is, you know, the you know, I, the DS1 is obviously is a classic distortion. It's, it's you can find them everywhere. There's been a lot of different iterations of it over the years. But the truth is, a lot of people hate, seem to hate that pedal. A lot of people love it, but a lot of people also seem to hate it. Uh, the DS2, though not as widely recognized and you know not used by as many people, uh, seems this one does seem to be favored a lot more by a lot of guitar players. I'm not one of the people that hates the DS-1, by the way. I happen to love the DS-1 as much as any other Boss pedal, but I get why some people are apprehensive about it, and it's not why it might not be their favorite. And last but not least for a fuzz, uh, I'm going to use the TC Electronic Honey Pot Fuzz, which is basically, you know, this is, this is a pretty basic Big Muff clone, is what this is. Big Muffs are among the most popular fuzz pedals out there. Uh, I mean, I, you know, you guys, if you guys watch my channel at all, you know me, if it's a fuzz pedal, I generally think it sounds like shit anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me what it looks like. Uh, and I don't own a standard traditional Big Muff, vintage or current run or otherwise. Uh, but this, you know, this is a, this is a pretty, pretty close clone to the actual Electro Harmonics Big Muff. I do happen to have a deluxe Big Muff Pi, the bigger one, you know, the, but that one's that one's got a lot of other outputs and you know knobs and controls and stuff on it, and it's it's a it's a much more complicated version uh, of this circuit. And I again, for the uh, sake of simplicity, I want to try to keep things simple with a little three knob fuzz pedal. So we're going to set these pedals up. Uh, just going to be these three pedals going straight into the front end, uh, into the clean channel of my Laney amp. Just as a disclaimer, I'm not an electronics engineer, uh, and I'm certainly not claim, not ever going to claim to be or try to be or anything like that. Uh, but to my ear, you know, when you are stacking gain stages on top of each other like this, there is a much more noticeable difference uh, in the actual tone itself when all the gain settings are turned down as opposed to when they're turned up and basically it just, you know, it just, it seems to add more gain, but also kind of adds more mud, you know, <laughs> you know, there does come a point when there's just too much gain going on. 
So I'm going to try not to get too much into that territory and, you know, keep things, you know, fair, not all the way down because, you know, then we get into clean boost mode and then there's, you know, that there comes a point when a clean boost is a clean boost and it's not really going to make much of a difference. But, you know, lower gain settings and stacking pedals are, are, you know, for me are really where it's at because that's where you can see the biggest impact that, uh, that one pedal has on another and how they, you know, the two gain stages interact and work with each other. So... And in my opinion, there's more tonal variation that way as well.
So there it is. There is my gain stacking uh, experiment, demonstration, whatever you want to call it, uh, as requested by you guys, my wonderful viewers. So I hope that this was informative. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, go try it at home and uh, see what results you get. I mean, I, I, you know, I guess that's the last thing that uh, the, that I should have mentioned earlier is that you know, there's there's no rules in how you set this up. You know, the only rules are use your ears. You know, if you like the sound that you're getting, then that's what you should be doing with it. Adios. Have a great day, everybody.